here's a quick dissection of what I'm thinking and what's going through my mind as I'm here in China, as the coronavirus is manifesting itself and widely spreading. And right now is pretty much the prime time of where everyone is freaking out, going crazy over it. And I can only imagine why. This is just for effect. I don't really use it in the house. But going outside, it's actually a requirement here in China. Apparently, according to my dad, in China, if you don't have a mask on uh, when going out on the train, and this might apply to going out in public in general, you could get a ticket. No trains, no buses. Yeah. I'm kind of stuck in China right now. And right here is the point where my aunt finds a ticket online, and we rush out to try to get it. So we're going to try to get a ticket out of here. Now I want you to pay attention here and notice on the road there's literally no other cars actually driving. People are staying at home and avoiding any type of transportation uh, and going outside to avoid exposure. Yeah, even out here in China, they're remembering Kobe. This is the reality of uh, this is the reality of the virus right now. We are people were not even wearing masks a week ago. Now everyone's wearing a mask. That's crazy. My man Guangzhou to Hong Kong. Paper. They're taking cleanliness very seriously here. They were like, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to do, but if you ever watch Monsters Inc. as a kid, the code 2119 is uh, it's kind of like what is, is here. So this train supposedly comes from Wuhan. Ground zero for the coronavirus. So with that said, I ain't touching shit. Here we go. This is exactly the reason why the disease spreads. You put your feet up on the table where people meet. That's disgusting right there. His wife puts her cell phone and bottle there, where he put his foot. Are you trying to transfer, boy? Welcome to Guangzhou Nan train station. Got health checks for days out here. Oh, wow. Form here for so many forms here in China. This is kind of out of the hand now. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
checking into a hotel today. Even here at the hotel, they scan your temperature for the check-in. Guys, trying to find a spray bottle or a spray <clears throat> that kills germs. Sold out. I try to find a mask. Oh. No mask. No mask. Alcohol. No more. No more alcohol. Anything. It's all gone. Yikes. So the news is just saying the West Kowloon station just stopped taking trains. We got one of the last trains out of China. We're hungry, so we're gonna get some food here in Hong Kong. They're asking about uh, they're asking about our alcohol. <laughs> So, masks here in Hong Kong are actually becoming a commodity now. People need to get numbers in order to buy masks. It's a shortage of masks in Hong Kong. This line over here is a line to buy masks. This is crazy. My dad's looking for this place here. So this is where they buy masks. This whole line is all to buy masks. Yes. Wow. Now, I could be wrong, but from my understanding, in this situation here, uh, people lined up to get masks, and a lot of them are getting disappointed because they've been waiting since like 6 a.m. in the morning to find out that they're restricted to like one mask per person. All these Hong Kongers are freaking out because they can't get any masks. Uh, masks. 68 for 50. High demand. Three five bucks for three N95s. We're gonna get some three of these N95s. 45 bucks, about a dollar each. I found the world's smallest cell phone. A lot of people here. This is February. We have mass 338. For how many pieces? For 50 pieces, 338. Man, they scalping up on here. Wow. 40 bucks for the mask. So today's the 30th and I woke up to see this on my Facebook feed. Mind you, we fly on Air Canada today. That is down severely. So starting with Air Canada, uh, they are canceling what they're calling select flights to and from China this morning to quote unquote better match uh, capacity. So they have over six flights per day. That's about 33 flights uh, every week. So they're saying as well that customers can change or cancel their flights at any time and, and extend them to perhaps after the contagion is, uh, is, is contained. Fortunately, our flight is not affected because we're flying out of Hong Kong. Talking about the mass situation. I'm so glad we didn't get stuck there. They literally closed the doors for the train station. Today is the 30th, and we are going to be boarding our flight at around 8 p.m. to go to the Americas. I'm posting this pre-edits um there should be music and all that intros outros and usually but i want to get this out there i want people to understand the current situation here in hong kong and what it was in china uh even though i was in yingda which is about eight hours away from wuhan southbound um it's still a ghost town out there it's pretty crazy but just wanted to put this out there uh so people know what it's like insider view 
Uh, luckily we got out, not a lot of people were so fortunate, so 